Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Straight Fire Picks. Best bets for Thursday Night Football Week 8 between the Green Bay Packers and the Arizona Cardinals on Thursday, October 28th, 2021. My name is Steve and we're going to have three picks here for you today. I think are great value bets for this Thursday Night Football game. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support in the channel. If you are new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to reach 800 subscribers here by the end of the week. Also, be sure to check out our community Discord. It's a great place to connect with our community. Uh, you can get some great ideas for bets. Um, great discussion about sports in general in there. It's a lot of fun. So I encourage you to check that out. Be sure to also drop a comment down below with your favorite pick or play for this game. If you'd like it to be included in our comment capper section, just make sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick so I know what your official pick is. Other than that, let's get right into our results from Monday Night Football. So uh, as far as comment cappers, we didn't have any call-ups that hit on Monday night. Uh, as far as our stream results, we went 1-2. and two. So we cashed the Seahawks plus 4.5 spread. Uh, very closely contested ball game, ended 13 to 10 in favor of the Saints. Uh, we had the over 13 and a half rushing yards for Geno Smith, and he ended up the game with 13. So that was kind of sad. Um, and honestly, he definitely gave it up uh, in the first half because scrambled for a big run, could have gotten easily an extra five yards on that carry, and he slid down really early. But quarterbacks do that, so what can you do? Uh, one yard short on that. And then Alex Collins, we were nine yards short on him. Uh, he finished the game with 36 yards rushing. Uh, it was kind of unfortunate. They benched him most of the first half after a solid first drive. Weren't running the ball well at all. They put him back in the game. And they start running the ball solid again. I don't know why they benched him. I, I, I really can't tell you why. But what can you do? Like I said, we went one and two. But we're going to get that three and oh here on Thursday Night Football. So let's get right into our picks. And number one. We are rolling with the under 50 and a half points here in the Packers Cardinals game at minus 110 odds. So so far on the season, Packers games are five and two to this under, four and zero oh in the last four games. Uh, Packers games have gone under 50 points, so we like that obviously. Uh, Cardinals games are three and four to the under on the year, but the three and one in their last four to this under. Uh, two of those losses uh, on the under, two of those four losses were 51 points were scored. So I honestly like that as well. Um, you know, both defenses here I think are very solid. Uh, Packers rank seventh in total yards. Cardinals rank fourth in total yards. Scoring defenses first for the Cardinals, seventh for the Packers. So very solid defenses, actually very good defenses. Two top ten defenses here. And we have some injuries here for Green Bay, right? We have some possible uh, possible wide receiver absences here. Uh, Devontae Adams, Lazard, Marquez Valdez, Scantling, all could be missing on Thursday night. Now, we don't know the status of Devontae Adams completely. Um, he's on the COVID list. He has to test negative, I think, twice before that game within, I mean, within like two separate 24-hour spans. So that's going to be tough. Now, he could end up playing, uh, but it still wouldn't bother me as far as cashing this under. I'm still not all that concerned about the under, even if he does play. Lazard is definitely out. Um, and Marcus Valdez Scantling currently on IR, but he could be activated ahead of the game. You just never know. But again, I'm again I'm not concerned there. Cardinals defense is very good. Uh, they've played very well this season. So I see this being a dogfight, honestly, a fairly low-scoring game. Uh, as far as on the offensive side, the Packers ranked 23rd so far in total offense. So that's why I said I'm not all that scared either way. Uh, but that's kind of just like an added bonus. Uh, 23rd in total offense there for the Packers. Um, and for the Cardinals, 7th in total offense for the Cardinals. So that's obviously pretty solid. But like I said, both these defenses are very solid as well. So I expect the dogfight here in the desert. So take it there for your number one pick. Under 50 and a half points here in the Packers Cardinals game at minus 110 odds. Okay, and at number two, we are going with James Conner. Over 47 and a half rushing yards here for the Cardinals at minus 114 odds. So, this is actually a pretty solid matchup here for James Conner. Despite the Packers having a very solid defense, they're best against the pass, not, not so much against the run. Actually, that works that way for both of these teams. 
Packers so far allowing 4.9 yards per carry on the ground this season. That is not very good, obviously. Uh, they've allowed the ninth most rushing yards on the year as well, 846 yards on the season. So, honestly, I like that as well. Uh, Connor personally has cashed this line in three of his last four games. He's cashed it in four out of seven on the season, so that's very solid. Obviously, recently, cashing it in three out of four is what I like the most about that. Six running backs total have cashed this line versus the Packers on the season, so I, I like that as well. And uh, like I said, you know, this is just going to be one of those games where I think it'll be low scoring. You'll see some running of the football. And at the end of the day, the Packers defense isn't going to be able to load the box on James Conner, right? They're going to have to respect Kyler Murray in the passing game coming in. And I think this is a good opportunity for the Cardinals to run the football. Because they still actually have a, a decent running attack when they want to. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know... Uh, when they want to go that route. But obviously, you know Kyler, how special he is. He can throw the football. He can run it. You know, DeAndre Hopkins, A.J. Green, Zach Ertz now. Plenty of weapons there to keep the Packers at bay in the secondary and keep them from loading the box here on Connor. So I love it there for number two pick. James Connor over 47 and a half rushing yards here for the Cardinals at minus 114 odds. Okay, and finally at number three, we are going with Aaron Rodgers under 254 and a half passing yards for the Packers at minus 114 odds. So the under in passing yards versus the Cardinals in Cardinals games is six and one to this line. The Cardinals do not allow a lot of passing yards at all. So six out of seven games, um, the Cardinals have cashed this line uh, versus opposing quarterbacks. Uh, obviously, their pass defense has been very good. Their defense overall has been very good. Um, and I don't look for that to change, especially with the question marks uh, with the wide receiving core here for Green Bay. That's just kind of like an added bonus. Because uh, Rodgers really isn't, hasn't been as aggressive this year through the air in years past. So, you know, Packers right now ranking 17th in pass to run ratio at 58.75%. Uh, so I like that. They do like to run the football, a decent bet. And for modern football, that's a pretty, obviously, running the ball at about 42% is a pretty high clip um, in the modern NFL. So I like that. And uh, like I said, with the question marks at wide receiver, that's just like an added bonus. So far on the season, though, Rodgers is 3-4 and four to this line this year. So he's actually technically 4-3 and three at hitting the over. Uh, but let me just tell you what, how many yards he had during the losses. He had 255 yards and one of the losses, 261, 274, and 344 in overtime. So he really hasn't even had a true 300-yard passing game in regulation. Uh, obviously, you know, he had a lot of yards there in overtime against the Bengals. That helped him out. Um, and then the other three, the other three were very close uh, to the Thunder. And this is one of the best pass defenses that they're going to play so far. And possibly without a lot of targets. So... Definitely like the odds of Rodgers cashing this under. And, and like I said, do we know who's going to line up at wide receiver for Green Bay? No, we don't. It could be all three. Could have Devontae Adams, MVS. Actually, no, not Lazard. Lazard would definitely be out. Could have MVS and um, Devontae Adams. But it's likely that at least two of them will definitely be out. Um, I, you know, with Devontae Adams, just not sure with the COVID stuff. That stuff is so weird. It's so hard to even try to predict that. Well, let's get to it for our number three pick. Take it there. Aaron Rodgers under 254 and a half passing yards here for the Packers at minus 114 odds. Okay, that's going to do it for our picks for this game. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. It really helps us grow the channel. We're trying to hit 800 subscribers here by the end of the week. So appreciate your help out with that. Other than that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, be sure to also check out the Community Discord. It's a great resource. Drop a pick, a comment down below of your favorite pick for this game. If you want to include it in the comment cappers, just put a star or an asterisk next to it so I know what your official pick is. Other than that, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you next time. Peace out.